Hello, welcome to Marvel Media Channel. Today's video is about Android versus iPhones. What to buy? And some of you may say, well, you're an Android guy. We know what you're going to recommend, but I'm a firm believer into the right tool for the right job. So that's what we're going to talk about it. And let's begin. We're going to try to keep this as generic as possible and, um, you know, just so so everybody uh, can understand and everybody's comfortable with this review. Um, number one is really there is no bad hardware, okay? If you're going to get the phone, whether it's an iPhone or it's an Android, as long as you get the current or previous model year uh, phone, you're good. The hardware is great on all of those. Uh, devices, the, the the cameras are awesome. It doesn't matter at this day and age. It doesn't matter which hardware you're gonna get. And um, you know, if you're gonna say Android is better in a hardware side, well, I, I disagree. They're all great. Uh, Apple does hold um, some features back a little bit, but all in all, they have awesome uh, devices. They have really, really stable uh, hardware. Um, the, when it comes to camera, where they lack in megapixels, they compensate with the great lens. lens. And you know, with, with, with just like any camera, lens is the, probably the most important piece. If you have a crappy lens, well, the whole, doesn't matter how many megapixels you got, you're not gonna get a good image. Um, they, 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 really put in a good lens in there and on the other hand android has a decent lens and they have a very good uh, um, hardware behind it but they also compensate that with more megapixels so all in all it really doesn't matter which way you're gonna go when it comes to hardware it's irrelevant they're all great operating system well with operating system it's easy uh, really, both uh, Android uh, manufacturers and Apple, they do put out constant updates. If there's something wrong, they'll fix it. And you can't say that one is better than the other. No, it's, uh, they always, you know, keep uh, things up to date. They patch up their system if there's a problem. Uh, and, you know, at the same time, you can't say one is worse than the other. No, again, Apple has just as many problems as the Android does. If you don't believe me, well, ask around. I have an Android uh, phone myself. I use an, uh, uh, Note 5. I love this device, okay? And, and my uh, family, the rest of my family, my wife, my daughter, they use um, iPhones. They complain about their phones as much as I complain about mine. Doesn't matter. Old, uh, old phones are computers they do have problems they do mess up operating systems they, it needs to be restarted every once in a while even if you you know you use windows you got to restart it every once in a while same thing with the phone it's just a smaller computer it needs to be restarted and truthfully after you know a couple of years they say well you should change the phone after about two years not not really true if the phone does what you need uh, needed to do you, all you need to do is really reload it, okay? And you're going to have a brand new phone again. It's going to function right. I know it's a big job, but you're going to do it anyway. You're going to buy a new phone after two years, right? So you're going to be reloading all the apps. Well, if your phone is good, for example, my phone right now is Note 5. It's two years old right now. Note 8 is about to come out. But frankly, I love my phone. I don't have a problem with this. And it's two years old next month. I don't think I'll change it. I will, you know, simply wipe it clean and it'll start functioning like just like just like brand new. So there's no reason to change this because of that reason. I mean because of that. So the, the again the phone's operating system is up to date. As long as you're still getting uh, patches and updates, 
no reason to change it. You can have your phone three, four years easily without having to swap it these days. Applications. Well, this is probably the, the part where there is the most difference in, uh, um, in, the, diff in, in the devices. And um, this is really where the choice comes in. If you got a person that likes things that do not change a lot and you want to pick up the phone and use it, um, you know, the way it is. Apple is your phone. iPhone is your phone. Okay. Um, with the updates, they don't make much changes with new operating system. They do not make a lot of changes. They, they keep it pretty much the same streamline streamline and they and this is what they like about the phone this is what most of the people liked about the phone um, Android on the other hand um, they, they even though they don't change a lot about their operating system operating system and the basic user will still enjoy it just as much will still uh, not have problem um, you know going from one phone to the other but this is where you can make a lot of changes and in order to do the, you know, well, there's a lot of applications. You can change interface. You can replace the launcher. You can totally make uh, the phone look any way you want. There's hundreds of launchers in there, uh, out there. I review a bunch of them all the time. And uh, really, there is no limit to what you can change your phone, you know, screen look like. Uh, organize any way you want. This is where uh, limitations of iPhone comes in. You can't do a lot of that stuff with iPhone. Um, same thing, automations. Apple locks their phone so much, you cannot automate a lot of stuff. What's a built-in operating system? That is it. You can't do anything else. With Android, without you know unlocking, without unrooting your phone, you can actually do a lot of stuff. You can download the application, automation uh, application, uh, there's tons and tons and tons of features you can do which are not available on the iPhone. And that's really the major, major change. This is why techies, the people who are more technically inclined, love Androids because they can do a lot of stuff with it, even without unlocking the phone. And as far as unlocking the phone, there's a little uh, thing I guess we need to understand that will come when it comes to terminology. Uh, let's pretend you have a computer. Uh, and there's a user and there's an administrator okay uh, when you buy a stock phone stock phone meaning with what's preloaded on the phone it's set as a well for a user okay when you unlock your phone in iPhone it's called jailbreak in Android world it's called root and root because um, it, it comes from it's a Unix based or uh, Linux based operating system um, so it's rooting the phone, okay? So that process is basically giving you administrative rights to your phone. Both of them are perfectly legal. Both of them would void your uh, warranty uh, from manufacturer. So if you were to take the phone uh, back after you root or jailbreak the phone in that condition, they will not honor the warranty because, well, you are now administrator. You could have messed something up. And, you know, 90% of the problems out there are software related. Uh, unfortunately, unless you crack your phone, well, it's different, right? But even with that, if they find out that you rooted your phone, they will not honor the warranty. So before you take it back to the store, you, you got to make sure you turn it back, make it uh, back the way it was before. So, again, iPhone, you can do a few more things if you root it. But with Android, even without rooting the phone, you can do a lot of stuff. Uh, you can do a lot of stuff. Um, and and, and it, if you do root it, you can do even more. But frankly, these days, it's not even necessary. Um, most of the things are available because, well, the only few reasons that people would root the phone is to allow some, allow some extra features. And some of them are paid and some of them are free. So to make them free, they unlock the phone, okay? They root the phone, um, and that gives them that capability. Uh, but you know, most of the time, it's usually like hotspot. Well, not hotspot. Most of the providers allow it allow you to use hotspot for free. So there is really no great reason to 
root your phone and lets you do a lot of automation type of stuff. So let's summarize this. So if you are a basic user and you simply like to use your phone for what it is, make phone calls, contacts, calendars, um, and plus whatever applications are available in the App Store, uh, which, you know, there's quite a few. You could do a lot of stuff, uh, you know, uh, with, with iPhone. Uh, stay with iPhone, okay? However, if you like to tinker with your phone, you like to customize things, you like to uh, do some, some extra thing, automations and stuff like that, you want to go with Android. Uh, there Again, there's no really right or wrong choice there. It's what you need. It's what you would want to do. If there's a tool on the um, Android device that is not available on iPhone or vice versa, well, that's the device you need to go with. Um, because maybe it's for your job, because some other reasons, you know, for, for home. Um, but again, uh, most of the applications are available for both devices as far as normal applications, you know, from, for, for mainstream uh, applications are available for both devices. Even Microsoft makes Office now for both devices, uh, Android and iPhone. So if you want Microsoft Office, boom, you, you have it on both. But again, if you like your customizations, like to change the way the Android, you know, your device looks and feels, you don't like the standard screen, iPhone is not your phone, okay? Go with the Android. Choose the phone that you like. Go with, you know, the best, you know, hardware out there maybe that you want. Um, best brand name that you want. Um, whether it's Samsung, Motorola, whatever other, LG, whatever, whatever. Um, you know, makes you happy. But look at the features as far as what you need, what you're looking out of your phone. Don't necessarily get stuck on a manufacturer or operating system. Start with what do I <clears throat> want to accomplish? What do I want to do? Again, if you want something simple that you don't, don't want to see much of the change, you like what you see and that's it, iPhone, customization, Android. That is it. Very simple. Let me know what you if you like this video uh, by you know clicking thumbs up there, or if you would like to see more videos like that, subscribe. Thank you. I'll see you in the next one.